Hello, everybody. As we close the books on one year and begin another, I want to take a moment today to wish you a very happy new year and to talk a little bit about the year that lies ahead. At the start of 2011, we're still just emerging from a once in a lifetime recession that's taken a terrible toll on millions of families. We all have friends and neighbors trying to get their lives back on track. We are, however, riding a few months of economic news that suggests our recovery is gaining traction. And our most important task now is to keep that recovery going. As president, that's my commitment to you, to do everything I can to make sure our economy is growing, creating jobs, and strengthening our middle class. That's my resolution for the coming year. Still, even as we work to boost our economy in the short term, it's time to make some serious decisions about how to keep our economy strong, growing, and competitive in the long run. We have to look ahead, not just to this year, but to the next 10 years and the next 20 years. Where will new innovations come from? How will we attract the companies of tomorrow to set up shop and create jobs in our communities? What will it take to get those jobs? What will it take to outcompete other countries around the world? What will it take to see the American dream come true for our children and grandchildren? Our parents and grandparents asked themselves those questions. And because they had the courage to answer them, we've had the good fortune to grow up in the greatest nation on earth. Now it's our turn to think about the future. In a few days, a new Congress will form with one house controlled by Democrats and one house controlled by Republicans, who now have a shared responsibility to move this country forward. And here's what I want you to know. I'm willing to work with anyone of either party who's got a good idea and the commitment to see it through. And we should all expect you to hold us accountable for our progress or our failure to deliver. As I've said since I first ran for this office, solving our challenges won't be quick or easy. We've come through a difficult decade, one of new threats and new trials we didn't expect when it began. But a new year and a new decade stretches out before us. And if we just remember what America is capable of and live up to that legacy, then I'm confident that we are poised for a period of progress, one in which our economy is growing, our standing in the world is rising, and we do what it takes to make sure America remains in the 21st century what it was in the 20th, the greatest country in the world. Thanks for listening, and Happy New Year.